Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brian Shanae and today I have an unboxing for you and it's going to be from Fay Crate and this is a hangover kit and this is going to be for the Bronze Beast by Roshani Shotsky. So if you want to know what's inside of this gorgeous box, please stay tuned. I am back and if you're new to my channel welcome if not welcome back so like I said before this is going to be from Fay Crate this is the Bronze Beast mini hangover recovery kit um I did order this last year it was supposed to come last year but you know due to uh delivery delays and shipping and COVID and stuff like that you know I didn't get it until now um so I cannot wait to share this with you and once again this is the Bronze Beast hangover kit um and this is uh the Bronze Beast by Roshani Shosky um which she has done a phenomenal job with this historical fiction series and this will be the last book of the series and I do believe it's an exclusive um so let's go ahead and get started with the uh, the you know unboxing so as I open it on the very top of the box it says, it says caution divinity awaits and then on the very side of it it says it is in knowledge after all that we find the tools to make history so that says that there and of course it says fakecrate.com right on the other side and so let me open this and then it has this as fake crate. And so the first item I see is a little plushie that mostly comes in their hangover kit. So I want to open this and share this with you all. So this is their plushie and this is supposed to be Layla, the main character in the book. And she's really cute. This is like her outfit. So this is the little plushie that comes with it. And she looks very pretty. <laughs> I do like this, this is cute. So we have the plushie. Next thing, it looks like we have something on the inside, which let's see what this is. I think it might be um, exclusive um, covers for the books itself. So we'll see if I can get it out of here. So I finally took it out and these are exclusive covers that you can, book, you can put on all three books. So here is the first one right here. And then here is the second one. So they're all very different and most of them have, you know, all of them have the main characters of them in the book. And then here is the third one. And you can see right there, this, that is Layla and Severin. And you can tell which one is which because this one is located in Russia. Um, so I believe this one is the second book because it has this right there. And then the first book was in France. So if this will be the first for the first book because of the Eiffel Tower right here. So this is for the first book. And I'm guessing this is for the last and final book, which is called The Bronze Beast. And it'll give us maybe a little hint of where it is. So it looks like it's going to be in Venice. So yes, so that's how you can tell which cover goes with which book. And then we have a little box in the box itself. So I'm gonna open this up. And it's a mug actually. So I'm gonna take this out. And I do like mugs. I actually collect them. Oh, this is so cute. So here is the mug. And I'm going to guess, I don't know. Who, I, I'm going to guess it's Severin and Layla. I'm just going to guess. This is a nice little, little tin mug. So there is the mug. It's very cute. And then we have the book plate for the book that just signed by the author and then it looks like we have um the author note which I will read to you this will be the last thing that I'll probably read to you because I figure whatever they um put in the notes for the readers I think it'll be inspirational not only to me but also to you as well um and then it looks like we have an art print of all the characters and then actually it gives us more information about what are these items and who they were created by um so this is the exclusive dust jacket set it was by um m m f m a f 
And then the, let me see, the enamel mug was by Elion Hart. And then the, let's see, the plushie, the Layla plushie uh, from Fake Crate is exclusive. So uh, Fake Crate made that. And then let's see, I think that's mostly it so far. And then the art print, let's see. It says the so Sophia and Enrique art print was by Alexandra uh, Curdy. And then the Bronze Beast art print was by uh, Rosit something, Rosit something. Um, and then let's see, there's enamel bookmark that's going to be uh, by Noon Designs. And then of course, I just showed you the Bronze Beast by Roshani Chosky with a signed book plate and with the author letter. So those are all the items in this box, but this print is very beautiful. And like I said, these are all the main characters in the books. And then the enamel pen. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Or is it an enamel pen? Let's see. I'm gonna take it out of the, so it looks like this, but I'm gonna take it out of the package so it'll be less of a glare. Oh, it's actually a bookmark. So excuse me, I said enamel pen. It is a bookmark and it's magnetic. Oh, this is so pretty. It says Habib Albay. And you can see where it has the Venish, uh, Venish bridge right there, which definitely you can tell that this the third book is going to be located in Venice. So here is this. This is so cute. I love this little bookmark. I love this. So we have this cute bookmark. And then we are down to the book. So this is the third and the final book of the series. And this is the Bronze Beast. It says, in love they breathed, in destiny they believed, in the end will divinity be their demise. And as you can see, it's definitely located in Venice, for sure. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting to read this for so long, but I wanted to wait until I got my box because it had the book with it. Oh my gosh, so it's so beautiful. And then if you take the uh, dust jacket off, this is what it looks like. And I definitely can't wait to put the exclusive covers on the books. <laughs> I definitely cannot wait. But let me read the synopsis for this book. So it says, returning to the dark and glamorous world of her instant New York Times bestselling uh, The Gilded Wolves, Roshani Chosky dazzles us with the trilogy's final riveting tale as full of danger as ever in The Bronze Beast. It says, after Severin's seeming betrayal, the cure, excuse me, the crew is fractured. Armed with only a handful of hints, Enrique, Leila, Hypnos, and Sofia must find their way through the snarled, haunted waterways of Venice, Italy, to, to locate Severin. Meanwhile, Severin must balance the deranged whims of the patriarch of the fallen house and discover the locations of a temple beneath a plague island where the divine Lear can be played and all that he desires will come to pass. With only 10 days until Leila expires, the crew will face plague pits deadly masquerades, unearthly songs, and the shining steps of a temple whose powers may offer divinity itself. But the price of godhood could cost them everything they hold dear. Oh yeah, so I am definitely cannot wait to read this and figure out the finale of this book. I want to know what happens to Severin. I want to know what happens to Layla. And if you did know, there is a little bit of romance within these books. So I definitely am so excited for that. And then also we have the note from the author, which I'll gladly read it. So it says, Dear Reader, Trilogy is a great word. There's something hefty, eerie, eldritch about it. There itself is a magical number and the image of it conjures to mind old gods and dim stars, witches and glyphs. I have been thinking about the magic of that number as we drew to an end of the Gilded Wolves journey. These three books have been, have been rife with mythology, and to my great resentment, <laughs> mathematics patterns and synapses of history. When I finished writing the Bronze Beast, it felt like a lock sliding into place. And when I could finally step back and behold the whole thing, I felt not exactly happy, but cathartic, relieved. These books were less a journey and more like a mirror. They helped me see parts of myself I wasn't always aware of. I hope it does the same for you. I hope it makes you feel seen. I hope as with, as if, excuse me, I hope as with any alchemical enterprise that this makes magic for you. And it says, I hope the words turn to gold and line the edges of your dreams. I hope the characters may find a happy home in your heart. Thank you, Rashani. 
So this is really cute. I'm definitely going to keep this. Um, but that is my little unboxing for this Fake Crate Hangover Kit. I definitely cannot wait to put these exclusive covers on all three of the books that I now have. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I'm definitely looking forward to reading this and figure out the final journey with all these amazing characters that we have here. Um, but yeah, that is my little you know, a little unboxing for you guys. Like I said, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button, that bell to be notified when I upload more videos in the future. But thank you so much for watching you guys. And please, please, please stay healthy and stay safe. See ya.